Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Bruises and in today's video I'll be going through the Subnautica Below Zero update 1.20 patch notes. Now this is on the PlayStation 4 but I'm pretty sure that it's the same on the Xbox One as well. Now the game version is 1.20 and I will be giving you guys the patch notes, it's been a long time since we've actually got an update on this game but I'm happy the developers are still thinking about the console version but before we get started, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as it's free to do and you can always unsubscribe at any time with that being said, let's get straight into the patch notes <laughs> Okay, getting straight into the patch notes. Subnautica Below Zero version 1.20 patch notes. It's been released on September 14th, so that is today. Um, but yeah, so it says tailor your below experience with custom game modes. Tailor your below zero experience to the finest of details with a new custom game mode option. Toggle everything from player damage to day and night length to creature hostility uh, to implementing. Um, a vegetarian diet and much much more so that is some new features in the game I do not know if it's on console but uh, that is the patch notes that I got on the PlayStation 4 version actually um, they do not mention any uh, any specific system to get this from but it is the version 1.20 and the PlayStation 4 version is 1.20 so that's the first things we have the second thing we have is utilize or uh, utilize an all new C truck dock base piece so if you guys look in the gameplay here I actually have the piece for that already it I'm pretty sure it is a default blueprint that is already unlocked and it is so amazing. I must tell. I must be honest with you guys. I do love it. It makes the game much much easier. And yeah, so this is a brand new base piece. Will accommodate the C truck and up to five modules, comfortably. So you can add your C truck with five pieces added onto it. So that is a total of six uh, if you count the C truck with it. Um, you can just easily get back to your adventure right from your base so one thing I do like about this is that you do not have to go into the water at all you can just enter your base so there's no more going outside of your base and so forth you can just enter your sea truck and leave from there unless you want to add your uh, prawn suit then you have to get out of the prawn suit to get into the sea truck but yeah, so that is the new added uh, thing you can build into the game, which makes it super amazing in my opinion. We've been asking for this for many years now and they have finally added it to the game. And now we get to enjoy the most stable version of the game with tons of bugs, uh, squashes, so the game should run very good. Get yourself... Uh, out of some sticky out of bounds situations with an unstuck button steam cloud saves are back yes for real this time so it also says as you can see it says T, uh, steam cloud saves are back but just below that it says download free subnautica patch 1.20 for playstation 4 um, so you guys might have to check if this is all available on your system but just remember i am on playstation 4 uh, and if you guys watch to the end of this video you will actually see me go into the options and I will show you the unstuck button right there but I am not going to use it the way you access that is just by pressing the options button and it should pop up and give you that option to get unstuck now that's not all the patch notes that I've actually got there is a lot more than I could have found on the uh, internet itself so it's the C truck dock um, it's the new base piece new custom game mode uh, configure game rules and difficulty settings so I'm pretty sure that is part of the new game rule enable custom game type on existing save games it does disable trophies so I prefer not doing this you guys will also see in the end of the video that I do actually go to that option it's also in the option menu and you can just access it easily that way um, there's bug fixes fix various crashes and memory issues 
fixed issues with saving and loading existing save games, fixed various base building related issues, fixed issues specific to language translation and incorrect subtitles, improvements and bug fixes for players and vehicles getting stuck in the world, fabricator flashing light will now respect the accessibility setting for disabling light flashing now if you guys do not know there's people that actually get seizures because of flashing lights and that's one good thing the developers implemented it so that means that if you do experience seizures when there's flashing lights you can just switch it off and you can enjoy this fun game getting into the more patch notes i have that's not over there's still a little bit more i have to go through so there's fixed an issue where void creatures were spawn uh, were appearing in glacial basins glacial basins um fixed an issue where some items were not recyclable in the recyclatron recyclatron yeah that's what it's called uh constructed items will no longer disappear when left on the sea trucks fabricator i didn't even know that bug existed but it's been fixed um drop pod fabricator is now more resilient to collision from the sea truck ice worm should no longer attack player while in a base now a lot of people might say then how is that possible you can actually build bases on the ice itself as far as i'm aware uh because i don't know that oh i am not aware of the see or the ice worm actually going into the water he's a land creature so that is if you build a base on the land the sea worm can't damage you inside your base but i'm pretty sure he can actually damage your base i might be wrong i haven't built a base in the no, on the ice itself okay so there is also deployed thumpers will now show up where they were placed upon loading a save game various fixes related to Preston's plant waterproof and quantum lockers will no longer break when colliding with sea truck uh, detaching sea truck modules will no longer trigger the player to use their oxygen supply tools can no longer be equipped while operating vehicles robin will now be looking in the direction she was facing when the game was last saved that's the book fixes and the patch notes that i've got um there's an easy way of actually finding this but most of the times i do get it from the internet as you guys can see in the background there is the option but it does give you a warning and if you go to the options itself i'm pretty sure this is where you can enable the there you go so if you can see gameplay it says convert to custom game save it's the creative mode if i am sure or you can just change the things but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next video thank you for watching